Hi everyone, welcome back to the Homeschool Sweet Spot. If you're new here, I'm Kylie, and I've been homeschooling my three kids since 2007. Thanks very much for stopping by the channel. Today, I wanted to show you inside two of our recent books that we've been using this year for physical science. I really loved these books. I think they've been a great asset to our home library. And they are my first book of quantum physics and my first book of relativity. At first glance, and even if you quickly look inside the covers, you may think, what? You're using this with your 13 year old son? This looks like a little kid's book. And they are introductory level books. Definitely, they 100% are introductory level books, but they are not in any way, shape or form books for young children. They cover some pretty solid, heavy concepts uh, inside the pages. So let's just have a little look, shall we? And the first one I'm gonna go with is my first book of Relativity. So just having a look at the contents and what it covers, we've got time, measuring time, clocks and watches, space, speed, movement, frames of reference, adding up speeds, the speed of light, so on and so on and so on. We've got a little bit of introduction about the man himself. And then we get straight into time and discussing how we measure time. So there's quite a bit of information on each page. Some of the pages are really straightforward um, and some of them are, are much more involved. This one again, very simple, breaking down time. A little bit about the history of clocks and watches, how we measure space. And then we start looking at speed and movement and frames of reference. And this is a really fascinating concept. The book really gets the kids thinking a lot about movement and frames of reference. And looking at how our frame of reference or not having a frame of reference would make things very difficult for us if we're floating around in space. speed of light and how this here we were completely blown away with this little piece of information talking about extraterrestrials and if they were to look at us right now if they were on a planet four and a half thousand light years away what would they see they wouldn't see the earth as it is now but they would see it as it was four and a half thousand years ago they would be able to see for example how the ancient Egyptians built the pyramids spent quite a bit of time uh, chatting on that topic because that is utterly fascinating when we look at the speed of light. Talking about time dilating and we go into what the book calls a thought experiment and it gives you some examples and really just gets you thinking, talking and discussing the topic at hand. We've got a couple of pages of thought experiments on time dilation. Light clocks, looking into the future. So that is my first book of relativity. And then we have my first book of quantum physics. So along the same lines, the same type of cartoon illustrations, we've got uh, what can we do with classic physics, Planck's quanta, the mystery of light, Maxwell and light moves, Einstein, photons, the atom, the periodic table, or Schrodinger's cat, the uncertainty principle, so all those different uh, concepts that we cover and find when studying physics. 
Again, it puts forth uh, simple thought experiments where they make sense within the book and covers all the basics of physics with the children. Everyone always loves the Schrodinger's cat, um, so that's a really fascinating one to take a look at with the kids if you haven't done that before. Antimatter, another topic that we spent quite a bit of time chatting about. Hadron Collider. This is really fascinating. There is an interactive museum display that travels the world and it came to our local museum a few years ago and I took my eldest to that. So it was nice to revisit um, this about the Hadron Collider and the um, Particle Accelerator. Obviously looks at things we do every day using modern physics because sometimes the information within these pages, especially for a younger child, has them scratching their heads like, huh, how is this even relevant? Um, so this is really um, a great way to bring that back, that relevancy back. And also where physics is headed. Um, so that's a really fascinating look and a great one for kids who love this stuff because they can see those potential avenues for oh I could actually possibly do that when I grow up maybe I might want to work on creating teleportation or you know interactive glasses and lenses things that are already being created and then we finish off with a quantum timeline so it's my first book of quantum physics and my first book of relativity. Thank you for being here. I hope that glimpse inside has helped you to see whether these are something that you might want to look at for your own bookshelves at home. Thanks again and bye for now.